next coach this morning is the head coach of Presbyterian College of Poe, Harold Nick. Good morning, coach. Good morning. We see with the setback uh, at Charleston Southern back home Saturday against a familiar foe. We can open up and talk about the uh, uh, summarize the game against the and we'll start taking questions. Well, it certainly was disappointing for us. Uh, you know, I knew going into the football game that, you know, Charleston Southern's got an outstanding football team and they executed at a high level and I knew we were gonna have to do some things in order to slow them down and then, you know, uh, uh offensively be able to put some drives together to keep their offense off the field, but we weren't able to do that. You know, they um made some plays, especially right there before the half that uh um they got out on a long run uh, by their quarterback and then um, turned right back around and punched one in. And, you know, you can't really do that against a team uh, as talented as Charleston Southern is and expect to have an opportunity to win. So it certainly was disappointing for us. And uh, credit goes to Coach Chadwell and his staff. They did an outstanding job and uh, were very deserving of, of the win. Um, we got to turn the page quickly because we play an, another tough opponent and like you say, in a, in a familiar foe in Coastal Carolina, you know, they're a uh, typical Coastal Carolina football team, very very physical and fast. Uh, you know, they, they're coming off of two wins in a row here the last two weeks. Uh, beat up, um, uh, you know, Florida A&M and Lamar early in the year. Um, you know, they're really their only two losses are one-point losses uh, to top ten SCS teams. So, you know, they're, uh, uh, again, you know, are, are a handful. They're very physical up front, especially on the offensive line. And we got to make sure that we're able to set a point on defense to be able to uh, be able to hold up in there. Um, so it, it is it is a home game, you know, which is only our uh, third home game this year. Um, so we're excited about being at home. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get some energy from our crowd, be able to put up a good fight, really good Coastal Carolina team. Thank you, Coach. At this time, we'll start taking questions for you. Please press star one on your phone at any time. Or click the Q&A link near the top of the browser. Click raise hand if you join us. Coach, uh, while we wait for the questions to come in, um, talk about John Walker. He got his first start, 14-22. Um, uh, just kind of how he played for you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he played okay. You know, he didn't do anything to hurt us. Uh, you know, we didn't have any turnovers on offense, which is always a good thing. But, you know, just weren't able to make some plays. Um, you know, really kind of starts up front for us on offense. And, you know, uh, Charleston Southern's very good on the defensive front. We were had a hard time moving them. And, um, you know, we needed to make more plays. But I thought John did okay. You know, we've got to play better at the quarterback position if we're going to have a chance to win this weekend, there's no doubt about it. But, uh, you know, he, he managed the offense, didn't do anything to hurt us, that's for sure. All right, Coach, a question for you is from Alan Blondin of Sun. Yeah, Coach, can you uh, describe the quarterback space right now uh, by John Aaron? What's up with the other Well, you know, we've had a lot of injuries there, Alan, at the quarterback position all year, and it's something we've been fighting for you know, last five or six weeks. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, the reason John was in there is, you know, our first two quarterbacks have been hurt, you know, Ben Cheek and Will Brock. And, uh, you know, Will got hurt against Florida Tech, you know, back there at the end of September and has been out. Uh, ben had a had an injury that, you know, it was kind of touch and go whether he'd be able to play or not. We felt it was in the best interest of him and our football team not to play him the other night. And, um, but, uh, you know, that, that's an ongoing situation for us right now. And, uh, but the reason John has been in there the last uh, you know, six quarters is because, you know, been because of injury and he's been the next man up. So uh, that's kind of our quarterback situation in a nutshell right there, Alan. All right. Uh, do you know who your starter will be upcoming on Saturday? You know, that's a good question, Alan. I don't know. Uh, you know, like I say, it's a, it's a day-to-day thing with us right now. You know, he, he's, uh, you know, Ben would be questionable for this weekend. Um, um, you know, whether we'd be able to use him or not, you know, we'll we'll make a determination here later on in the week who's, who's healthiest. You know, I think Will's out. I don't think Will will be available, but uh, there's a chance that Ben would be available. All right. Uh, 
um, as far as folks go, that they're dealing with uh, some simple situations that you guys ought to work back also. Um, uh, you know, is there any uh, advantage uh, to, to playing Coastal now opposed to what maybe uh, we're going to uh, have to help? Well, I mean, I just think that's, you know, part of the game. I think all all teams go through injuries, you know, problem is is you know most of the time at this level you know it hits one position group and when it does that you know it, it really thins you out quick um you know you dealing with you know less scholarship and um you know it's, it's a difficult proposition i don't care what level you're at but it's never a good time to play coastal because they're always a good football team uh they're very talented i know uh anytime you lose quarterback that's always an issue that it's tough but uh you know, I, I don't think there's ever a good time to play Coastal because, like I say, they, you know, they'll rally around that guy and they've got enough good players around him where they can compensate and be able to move the football on anybody. And uh, did mention uh, you guys have been playing a whole lot of home games. Do you think, uh, uh, you know, the team really looking forward to having to stay home for a game? I'd say so. You know, again, you know, we've this like I say this is only our third home game of the year. We've been on the road five or six weeks. Um, it's always good to play at home, play in front of your home crowd, and uh, you know we play in some difficult environments, and you know it toughens your football team up. But you got to be able to take advantage of the of the opportunities you got at home. You got to you got to you got to serve. So um, you know we are excited about coming back home and playing in front of our home crowd. There's no doubt. All right, coach. Up Alan, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Hey, Coach, that's all the questions uh, we have for you, so we'll let you go. Thanks for adjusting the schedule for today, and we'll talk to you next week. Well, thank you, Mark, and I want to wish everybody else in the league good luck this weekend. All right, thanks. Good luck uh, as well.